Hollow Ground Control. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> the Scrimba Space Agency is joining you today <sighs> from space. As you can see, your codemonauts are here to do many things. Uh, what, what do they actually do? Experiments and stuff. Or well, Oswald's. Yeah. Oh, um, why is there space. an echo? Michael. Ah, I think I know why. I mean, I guess it's kind of space-like, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Hopefully that will resolve it. Oh, I see. You had more than one. Uh, okay. I did. OMG, the six. <laughs> I know. Yes. That's exactly how I reacted when, when Leon brought them in. <laughs> we should have started with the camera upside down. Oh, that would be such a good idea. Yeah. Oh, well. Never mind. Next time. Gotta love the outfits. Guys, yeah. we were aiming for astronaut. Uh, from yeah. the bottom, or from the middle up, it does actually look like it, but the whole thing looks more like crime scene cleaner, if I'm honest with you. But if yeah. we need to do any painting one day, it yeah. will come. It, handy. I mean, it's also funny because it's got an EU patch on the side. I told you, it's a collab. With what? Normally they, they just put the countries, not, you know, not the whole union. Like if you're, if you're like from France or something, they put the French flag on you. Yeah, but it's NASA. Okay. It would be ESA, wouldn't it? Yeah, not EU flag. <laughs> Let's not worry about it. <laughs> the important thing is it's keeping us warm or cool in space. Whatever they're I mean, I'm, I'm definitely quite hot even in this. They're so. keeping our cells from floating away into the ether, which is good. Yes. Now, if you're wondering, what are these people doing? Allow me to explain. This week has been a Scrimper Challenge week, yes, and what that means is uh, a week of coding challenges with different themes. As you can see, we've had Valentine's, we had Earth Day, and this week has been the Space Challenge week. Here are all of the amazing space-themed challenges, which many of the people in the chat have done. Yes, mm. I yeah, shout very out busy. to everyone who has solved a challenge. Wonderful solutions, very creative. Um, thank you. We're going to code some of these, and then yes, one of them at least. And then announce the grand prize winner. Mm -hmm. Do you know what they win? Go on. They win a free Scrimmer Pro subscription for one whole year. $250. Cold hard cash. Oh, really? Woohoo. Yeah, really. And a job ready review with senior developer Michael. Hey. When he gets back down to earth. <laughs> Well, I suppose you could do it from space, actually, thinking about yeah. it. I yes. Mean, Wales, space. Same thing. Yeah. Brilliance. Yes, we need a countdown to the live start of the stream. Wow. Mm. As it happens, one of the challenges was a countdown to liftoff. Mm. Yeah. I thought we should do this one because, okay. fun fact, Michael here has a degree in what now? Uh, yeah, I did, I did do aerospace at university. <laughs> Michael has a degree in aerospace engineering. <laughs> Finally, the day has come for that degree <laughs> to be useful. <laughs> yes. If only, yeah, if only my tutors saw what, how I applied. <laughs> but they would be amazed, I'm sure, at the far-reaching uh, know. impact. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's kind of the most useful I got out of it so far. Yes. Brilliant. So we will start with this one. Count down to left off. Let's yeah. have a look. So count down to left off. Task. Write the J as to count down from 60 to zero. I mean, really, they do actually count down, don't they, from a really high number. But in videos, we only ever see five, four, three, two, one lift off. Mm, I think they vocally count down from 10. Oh, we'll make it 10 then. 
When the countdown reaches zero. Yeah, but obviously they counted down from like hours away. Maybe days. Mm, well, it's, I think when they broadcast, they turn the broadcast and count down the whole thing. Nice. When the countdown reaches zero, launch the rocket with an animation. Oh. Yeah. And for stretch gold, add some fire under the rocket. And what? occasionally, don't launch the rocket when the timer reaches zero. Rocket failure. Professionally Uns known as... Unspecified <laughs> rocket failure. Rocket goes... It's, I mean, you can specify it if you want. I just didn't know really what the different failures were. Right. Yeah, here you go. Here's Michael. <laughs> I, I do not own an NASA t-shirt, <laughs> just, just, yeah, just to clarify. He has to say that because he qualified in Ukraine, so... Ah, uh, yeah. I do not own a NASA t-shirt. And that's it. So, off we go. Here is our rocket. You're saying they count down from 10. I think while we're doing it, we'll do it from 3. Okay. So people okay. don't have to watch the same countdown numerous times. Save this. Open a new page. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So, you want to aim for the stretch goals? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, I, I have no idea how to put fire under a rocket. Like, how do you, is, is it like, how do you modify an emoji or... Oh, you mean like, add fire emoji under it when it, when it goes? That's what I had in mind. But oh. some people who solve the challenge, they use like the before pseudo element and all sorts of amazing things. Congratulations to you. Aerospace with dev are awesome. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> I love I it. Hey. <laughs> Congrats, says Multi Kaloka. Uh, thank you. He's had it for a while. It's, it's not a new development. Yeah. He graduated I, about 10 years ago. Yes. Yeah. But thank you. Anyway, how are we doing intergalactically? <laughs> um, oh, before I forget, just because we're in space, it doesn't mean we should break our weekly tradition. No, no, no. If you are new here, please put a bunny rabbit. Ah, uh, you made that running banner thing again. Well, it's um, always the same one. It's always yeah. that. If you've been before, hit me with that tiger. Yes, we don't do anything with this information. Uh, yeah. Supposedly, it's just for fun. <laughs> uh, although, I'm not entirely sure how funny it actually is. I think it's fun. The bunnies and tigers. Look. Yes. Here we go. Whoa. Bunnies and tigers in the chat. Fabulous. I do modify emoji SVG for the fire. Really? 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 Can we add a button today to start the countdown too? I don't see why not. What do you reckon? I think we can. Yes. Yeah. We've got all these bunnies and tigers. Okay. Amazing. Wow. Well. All right, then. So how are you going to go about solving this challenge? Uh, well, I mean, there's a timer, right? So you can... <laughs> there is. Yeah. So Which... I think it's like set interval and whatnot. And uh, I think that's basically how you how you make a code though, through set intervals. Uh, obviously, I have, no, I have no recollection of the syntax for set interval because, you know, rarely. I mean, you do you do occasionally write countdowns for web dev, but they're actually not as often. Like you don't come across them that often. Frodo's making one as we speak, so that next challenge mm. week, um, here is going to be a countdown until the deadline. So you lovely people don't have to faff around with yeah. uh, time zones and all the rest of it. There you go. So, so if you work for Scrimba, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it comes in handy. Especially if you do it in Ember, yes. Yeah. Okay, so there's hard-coded 60 here. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I think we... Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. I think we basically want to... Well, let, let's just, uh, you know, just console log uh, update on time remaining. Update on time remaining? What do you mean? Yeah, like, uh, let's console log time remaining and then wrap it in, uh, in I think it's set interval. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to look this up. Yeah. No, I don't remember how to do it. Yes. Set 
and to vote. Oops. Oh, W3 skills. Yeah. There you go. So you pass a function and you tell it, uh, and you tell it which interval to do. Okay, cool. This then. Uh, yeah, well, why not? Let, let's grab that. Sure. Mm. Uh. Where did the other one go? I think it's behind the, um, I think it's behind the screen. Okay. <laughs> let's just do it again. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I, th I thought you taped it in. But, uh, I'm pretty it sure I did. It will be on the tape, so you can check. But anyway. Okay. So how do you... Where's the mouse? No, oh, but as in, where's, where's the actual mouse? Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this one. Uh, okay. So, uh, was that set interval? Set interval function and then timing. So let's go set in to whoops. Set interval. Whew. Uh, it's really hot in this costume. Um, in this space shuttle, you mean? I mean, yes. Oh my word, it's so hot. Um, I wonder if it is hot in space. I don't think it would be. I mean, Normally, Leanne asks these questions, and then I always <laughs> ask, do you actually want to know? <laughs> or is it, is it just a rhetorical question? Because I have made too many times a mistake when I went into explaining something space-related, and uh, <laughs> yeah, she, Leanne basically told me to shut up because I'm drowning. Uh, so do you want to know why it, if it's cold in space? I do. For real? But not oh, now. No, okay. Yeah, see, <laughs> see what I mean? Exactly. Word okay, check. Assign set interval to function, otherwise you won't clear it an infinite loop. Here we come. Uh, what was that? Assign set interval to a function, otherwise you won't clear it. Ah, yes. So you presumably uh, do, 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 set, set interval and set timer. I actually uh, wait five seconds. Oh, okay. Uh, so where is clear interval? Clear interval. There we go. So you have to, yeah, oh, I see. Uh, I see, yeah. So in that case, oh, basically what? Uh, what Dick is saying is that if I have this and then I start, for example, decrementing and stuff, there is no way for me to actually stop this from ever running. So it will, for now, it will console logs this forever. Can't you do that with a conditional, though? Like, if time remaining is zero, then return. Uh, yeah, but it constantly keeps running this function again and again, and you always will hit that conditional again and again. Mm. Because at the moment it's just doing two, two, two. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's because. Need... Yeah, you're not. Oh, yeah, that's it. Decrementing it. Oh, you can probably just do this. Three, two, two one. one, zero. Uh, yeah. Minus one. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Yeah. Did you take pumpkin to space as well? Of course. Here's the very first space pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, scramble up. So say Marie, who has done many challenges, maybe all of them. Let us know in the chat how many of the challenges you have done by typing five, four, three, two, one. Or well, I guess zero. Hopefully not zero. <laughs> yes. Um and then I wonder if you, like, how do you actually clear it? You set an interval. Um, but I do wonder if there is like a condition, if there is a clean way to actually clear the interval uh, neatly. But I suppose... Uh, set interval. Ah, so you can, 
Uh -huh, okay. So you can, so in here, there is like an example, oops, sorry. There's like an example code where you have a frame function that you pass to the frame interval and inside of it, you clean and set interval returns an ID for an interval that you can actually use to clean it. Okay, that makes sense. So. If you notice me jumping out of my skin just then, it's because I suddenly realized we don't have any music playing. Oh no. So I'm now playing Into Space. Is know. there actually a song there called Into Space? Yes. Wow. It's the one we usually use actually, but. <laughs> Do we? <it>. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, this, now I'm proper roasting. Are you not hot? No, I'm alright. Look at this. Lots of fives oh. in the chat. Amazing. I'm not gonna lie, it's quite, it's quite awful. I will open the spaceship window. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, and now we're like... Whoosh. <laughs> Imagine if we actually did. And everyone's like, oh, I thought they were joking. No, no. <laughs> Imagine we're actually we're in space. Yeah. Wow, that, that is dedication to the team. <laughs> like that. Yeah, the Scrimba budget for the next 10 years went on our space mission for the live stream. I do think you overestimate. Well, you underestimate the you know the budgets for launch missions. Or, <laughs> okay, the next 100 know, years then. There is access to some financials that you have that even pay probably doesn't. No. <laughs> well, Moharam says, I arrive a little late, so sorry to interrupt, but I love your NASA costumes. Thank you. Yes. Ooh, Tim is new. Welcome. Uh, okay, cool. So in that case, now inside... Uh, Evil Coder. Clear timeout inside the interval. Clear interval, says Anna. Yeah, I think you need to clear interval Yeah, inside of this yeah. function. Uh, right. Clear inside that function you invoke. Indeed. So time remaining. Oh, look, here you go. This is what Sarah has done. Sarah. If time remaining, trivial equals zero, clear interval function. Yeah. Uh, clear interval. And then just go to give it interval ID. Okay. Three, two, one, zero. And it stopped. Yeah. Well, this is first time ever. I've written a piece of code and it worked first time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But now, um, but now we need a name for our interval. Apparently, Alexis suggests const my interval equals set interval. Uh, yeah, I just well set interval returns interval um, ID. Yeah, I think somewhere yeah. somewhere in uh, Alexis. Here it gives you an ID for for an interval. Okay, set interval. So somewhere here it should say with revert. Calls a function continues. Okay, note. There you go. Yeah, yeah, it works. Use the ID returned set interval. I don't know. Well, because it says that it returns an ID for it, so I just called it interval ID. But yeah, you can say my interval, whatever. I mean, considering that W3 schools tell you that's the example. Who are we to argue with W3 yeah, schools? I know, I know. You know, the hubris you must have to say that W3 schools naming is wrong. Totally. Yeah. First quiz is here with a tiger. Hey. Pumpkin says hello. That quiz. Yeah. I'm saying this because Vasquez is a massive cat fan. Yes. Is it? No. No. Oh, <laughs> he hates cats. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you have already done it. Wait, wait, wait. Cool. Uh, so now write JavaScript that counts. So realistically, we can just make whatever number you want over there. Uh, display the remaining time. Okay, so we now need to display the remaining time. Okay. Um, so that will be in the HTML. Oh, look, we've got it. Countdown, countdown display, display dot uh, text content equals time remaining. Yeah, so I think I can probably do that. Uh, countdown display dot text content equals time remaining. All right. Ah, no, sorry. Why's it gone to minus one? I need to invoke it before. Three, two, one, zero. Okay. okay. Cool. So it was, oh, I see. Yeah, because I'm decrementing it later. 
Uh, well, I still don't understand why it went to minus one though. Well, because. Let's, let's have a look. Uh, console log three. Because the console log says zero, but that uh, says yeah. minus one. Yeah, because it runs, I think it runs still. Yeah. So console log goes three, I minus it, and then I add it. But why is... So. The okay. text content is yeah. one lower than the console. So it logs three, becomes two, adds it to the DOM. Oh, so it's almost console logs logging two, the previous round. Logs one. Right. Yeah, I think I get it. Becomes one and so on. So I just needed to add it there. Cool. Gina then says, oh, sad face, but we have fixed it. No worries. Someone said, uh, is it minus minus time remaining? Yeah, can do that too. Yeah. Um, Hello, T Dave. Don't think it really matters in this case, but there we go. Uh, we run okay. it after the clear interval. You need to return after the if statement. Do we? I uh, don't think so, because um, clear interval will stop it. Um, so there is no point to return from this function. Let us know. Oh, oh I mean, if we're oh, wrong. I see. I see what you mean. We might be wrong. Uh, so they. I see what you mean. I think if you just. So, to... so you get out of the function countdown. Yeah, there you go. Okay, I see. So you can you can do a return and then it won't matter in which order you have this. Mm, actually, yeah, that's quite that, that's quite a clever idea. Yeah, fair enough. Yep, let's do that. Darren Jones says minus minus time remaining. Well, what would that do? Uh, Instead of time so, remaining minus minus. Uh, how to JavaScript. Uh, I can't remember what it's actually called. But... Decrement operator. I think. Yeah, but it's uh, basically. I think it's like, it's like decrementing, but uh, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's decrementing or incrementing. Uh, so decrement operator. I suppose it's like JavaScript. Operator. I may have just made the music very loud. Let me know if it is. Expecting intergalactic return. There we go. Uh, like, what does plus D in, and then hopefully someone will, uh, will say. So the operator returns the numerical representation of the object. So in your particular case, uh, no, that's not oh good. right, Julio says. Can't remember how to actually. Listen. For it. Go on. Minus minus time remaining will reduce the number by one before it's used. Yeah, I was trying to find a stack overflow to. It's just to do of with when it gets decremented. Expand a little. Oh, there you go. That's a good stack overflow. Um, mm -hmm. For it. There you go. Uh, there you go. That's a good example. Because if I just start blabbing on about it, uh, it makes no sense. So, love the jackets. They're actually full body suits, Dave. Yeah. Yes, they are. It's awful. <laughs> Wouldn't want our legs floating away in space. No. Evil Coda. I would say great day, but I don't think there is a day in space. That's a mind-boggling thought. Um. How do they measure days when they're on the ISS? Well, you're you're tied to. I think you're tied to UTC. Everyone's tied to UTC. Yeah. It's kind of, you know, it's all relative. If, if you count days as like sunrise, sunset, I think in ISS you see like, you see many of them every day. Pre-decrement minus, minus var, says Gilde. Yeah. Anyway, so, uh, so I, I quite liked that in this question, it actually explained that pre-increment is like increment the variable, the value expression is the final value. Post increment, remember the original, increment the variable, the value of the expression is the original value. So hopefully that kind of is it all up. But then it sounds like the second one isn't actually doing it. Uh, no, it does because you, you have the variable first and then you increment it. But then the value is the original one. So it increments it but doesn't use it. 
Uh, the value of the expression. So like this whole thing is the expression. While this is the value of the 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 variable. Anyway, in our case, it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, I think it does matter, no? Anyway, we've achieved it, what as long we as you account as long as you account for what you prefer, uh you know, that's where it is. I don't know, I kind of like, um, to be honest, if I think about code bases, would I ever use, I don't know, I never found the case where I would go, okay, this needs to be definitely pre-decremented. So if you have come across like a very <laughs> yeah. good use case where you would say, well, you can't really use both, you have to use one, uh, let me know. Do you know answers? In C slash C plus plus. Or maybe it's not only that, but it is also in that. I mean, I think a lot of languages have pre and post uh, operations. So, yeah, we'll see. Hello, to burn it. As it states, if you're not using the result of the expression elsewhere, it makes no difference. Ah, see, so now as we return, that actually. Uh, that actually doesn't, that actually stops, uh, I think if I return, I actually do need to decrement. Yeah, I actually need to do it. There we go. Okay, so we also need to say lift off. Actually, I don't, well, I'll just switch to the first Michael, thing that worked properly. Okay, your... Two, one. Zero. Yeah. Yeah. With your Let's go. rocket launching expertise does it say lift off at zero or after zero what my question is does it display zero or does it go one lift off i mean no because i think they say three two one zero lift off or do they not i don't know now maybe they say three two one no it's lift off is it I'm babbling. <laughs> yeah, a bit. Yeah. Do they say slash display zero or not? I think instead of zero, they showed lift off. Okay, let's do that then. So we need that in our if statement. So, oh, I see. Oh, I see what you mean. Uh, oops. In other news, World Space Week is the 4th to the 10th of October. Why is this Challenge Week not in October? Good question. A number of reasons. Um, one, I didn't know about World Space Week. Uh, <laughs> and two, I think, no, October is a challenge month, but it will be Halloween themed. That is why. However... Well, yeah, and October has another... Yeah. I would be interested to know if you have any ideas for future themes for challenge weeks. Drop them in the chat. Yes. Hmm. I can't really see why there's no update. Dave Collison disagrees with you. He says that they say zero, and when the rocket leaves the ground, they say we have liftoff. I mean, it's been a while since I watched uh, a feed. Launched or... a rocket. I've never actually launched a rocket. No. You yeah. have? No, but I have, well, what do you mean? Like, you know, press the button or something. No, I've never done that. You did? No, no one would ever, why? why? No, oh, no, you No haven't. one would ever let me anywhere near it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Having seen your driving. No. <laughs> do, you think, do you think they steer them? Like, have a wheel or something? Just like... They do in James Bond. What? Which one? <laughs> The time where he dressed up as an astronaut, but then he got busted because he was carrying his oxygen tank with the wrong hand or something. And also didn't speak Russian or something. I am that, yeah. Yeah, I, that probably was a giveaway. Or they wouldn't a spy be able to speak Russian. Anyway, let's not focus on inconsistencies in James Bond. Let's focus on this. Yes. Equals uh, countdown display equals liftoff, but it's not working. Um. Yeah, so basically I hit a zero. Um, But I suppose I should do just else in here. 
Oh yeah, because it overrides it. Of course, it, hit, it exits the if statement and then just overrides that. So I should just add it to else. Okay, three, two, one, lift off. Way. And yes, I have written three, two, one, lift off, because I think that makes more sense. <laughs> Yes, but if it is zero, obviously correct the code if uh, to suit your lift off in uh, desires. To suit your space agency. Yes. Yes. To suit so your space. No. You know, maybe you can transliterate this and uh, say it in like uh, I don't know, payachle, I guess. Whatever. Is that really what they say? No, that's what Gagarin said. Well, what do they say when uh, launching just, a rocket yeah, in okay, Russia? I think they say pusk or something. I can't remember now. Does that mean push? No, that well, that means lift up, yeah. Like, go, but specific to objects. A pirate theme. Poor Michael is overheating. <laughs> is the sweat falling in his space boots? Yes, actually. Well, if I was wearing boots, they would be, yeah. I I am really, really hot. I, I Unzip it. I, I have. <laughs> I have, yeah. <laughs> oh well, only. I am really hot. Twenty-seven minutes of the mission left. You know, it's to... like it, it's not as bad as in the sauna, but I am definitely. Hot. Lift the legs a bit. Yeah, uh, well, uh, uh, that actually is quite helpful. It is super, super hot. I <laughs> Leanne bought these like they are like Halloween costumes, and you should definitely wear them on me in October. Um, you could have placed the statement, uh, the if statement, at the end of the countdown function. Could I? Yeah, no good. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, this works. So, uh, what was the next one? <laughs> no AC in the Scrimba rocket. <laughs> <laughs> a water thing. Yeah. No. I think those, um, the, the actual spacesuits, they have like, uh, what are they called? Coolant. Well, they probably do have some sort of like ice packs circulation to make them cool. Dinosaurs. Well, they have it. On the other hand, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. Um, okay. So when the countdown reaches, launch the rocket. Okay. So, do you know how I'm to serious. how to do that? Add an animation. I do. Yes. Do you know how to add fires under the rocket? Let's add the animation first. Okay. Go to uh, Animista is the animation um, library tool thing I always use. Okay, Animista. <laughs> Astronauts take their jackets and stuff off in space. Do they? Well, not outside of the shuttle. Obviously, <laughs> inside yeah. it. I did ask Leanne when, when we started, before we started the stream <laughs> if she, uh, well, if she has, w w what's the, you know, the, the very tele friendly way of saying uh, pissing? <laughs> well, I don't know, but well, I, I already guess said you it, don't yeah. want to use it. Yeah, well, anyway, because uh, there's like this tradition in Austria, my Austrians, to, to piss on the back. Oh my on god, the right can you stop wheel. swearing on the street? I is not swearing. Anyway, whittling. Whittling. Weeing. Uh, you know, passing urine, I guess. <laughs> that, that is very medical. Uh, but yes, on the on the right back wheel of a, of a transport that brings them to to the launch pad. For real, just look it up. Uh, <laughs> Sarah says, "July tenth is teddy bear picnic day. We need a teddy bear picnic challenge week." Oh, that is adorable. <laughs> anyway, so uh, the the teddy bears. Oh, Writing God. down these ideas. I think I'm definitely the. Oh, I'm so hot that I'm now feeling so bad. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> okay. That is so awful. Oh. <laughs> Open the space shuttle window. Even more. On the plus side, if we ever go skiing, these will come in handy. No, they won't. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The one, because they literally are completely... It, it's like wearing a plastic bag on yourself. 
you know. Michael, can you in the sauna? Honestly, actually, the sauna didn't feel as hot. Um, so flip, swing. The mic, right, okay, it's yeah. fine. Right, reshare. <laughs> okay, we're back. Kind of. I think we're back. Can you? <laughs> right. <laughs> I like the explanations as to where we've gone. <laughs> he fainted, says Dave Collison. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Michael didn't go through training, did he? No. No. Uh, my training involves uh, just sitting in the pool. <laughs> Michael questioning his life choices while swearing and coding. <laughs> the, sh the spacecraft imploded. They fell into a black hole. <laughs> they got ejected. <laughs> Spaceship malfunction. Wow, it's definitely a black hole. Delayed reaction from opening the window. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, man. Scotty, you're fired. Well, anyway, we're back. So uh, we're back. Oh, do you? Oh, I love Scotty references. We are back. That's what happens when you open the spaceship window. Yes. Well, we opened the window and basically the inside of the ship just got, well, the ship got inside outed. It did. Okay, Michael, choose one of these. Okay, which one? Well, well we need to go up. Right, um, up. Shadow pop. Slide? I reckon slide will do it. Slide? Yeah. There we go. Slide. Yeah. Right. Well, hopefully not that one. Top? I think TR. The one to the, yeah. Like that. What do you think? Is that a good trajectory? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. Uh, yeah, that'll do. So, uh, okay. Copy the code. Okay, yeah, you should take over. And I'm like, what? I got. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Michael. That's why they send more than one astronaut on the missions. <laughs> Is this it? Yes, this is our note. Yeah, but I think we need a CSS. I know. How, how come you're not hot? Slide TR. Um, launch. So, if this is comfortable temperature for you, now I know why, you know, we're not heating the house that much. And then on here. <laughs> um, what's the name of it? Rocket. Yes. Rocket dot class list dot add launch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that's because I haven't. Actually, I don't know why. Oh, right. Yeah. Because I haven't got this bit. We actually need to set the web kit frame thingy because we've added the name of the animation but not actually said oh there we go so run the tapes three two one Hi, hello. whoa yes but i think that's a bit fast is it uh yeah so up here <laughs> which of these is the length i think it's this one let's do 
five. Because you know you you should you should lift the rocket slowly so people inside of it don't don't get turned into <laughs> spam. Oh, I missed it. I don't. I hope I hope our viewers know what spam is. Oh, oh that's because I didn't run it. Tinned beef. Yep. What do you think? That's probably a bit too slow. <laughs> okay, maybe two point five then. Yeah. And run. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Hadn't seen Animista before. Cool stuff. Yes, very quick and easy way to add animations. Um, can you make the rocket slow then accelerate? You can. That is mm. uh, this. Yeah, I think it's. So I think we need to reverse those a little bit. So CSS animation kind of fade. I think you want fade. Oh, I don't know actually, I have to check them out. Mm. What's the name of these? Not sure. CSS animations. I think it is cubic busier. Oh, 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 I think I know. Uh... Just change it to ease in. Is it ease in we want? Uh, yeah, I think it would be because that's slow and then fast. So I think it's like cubitbusier.com. Yeah. Oh, there we go, cubitbusier.com. So you can paste the values of your cubic busier. No, look, just change it to ease in. Because that'll be slow and then fast. Yeah, so you want... Michael. Go to the yeah, dot. You, want, like, you don't need a cubic bezier. Oh my word. Oh. There you go. So I think that's what we need to do. Um, He's in. It's what you want. Three, two, one. Okay. I think it needs to be. I think it needs to be more of the fast one. I mean, kind of like so. Oh, I see. No, so you basically want to start off slow and then kind of accelerate. I hope that will do it. Two, one. Whoa, there we go. Nice. But I think it should go a bit faster, actually. Oh, not faster, further. Michael, stop faffing, I think. I think that'll do. I think I think like that. I think like that. I think that's 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 the speed. But how do you, yeah, and you said that it should go a little bit further. Yeah, instead of translate X and Y of 100 pixels at lines 43 and 44. Mm -hmm. uh, no, that's going to change the starting. Actually, no, it's not. Translate Y is up. Yeah, so that should be more. So that should be 200. And then translate X is across. So try 200 for that. I mean, maybe pixels is not what we want. Maybe a viewport width and height would be better. Is that it would always go off the side, no matter how you resized it. Yeah, let's do that. <sighs> Can you do more than 100 viewport height? Only for that would be off the screen, no? Yeah, but that's what we want. <laughs> yeah, uh, didn't I have a minus? Ah, never mind. Did it? <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> oh, I need some ice. <laughs> Okay. 110 beautiful width. <laughs> oh no, look, it's good. We need to do this as well. Um, crikey. At the moment, I think it's still reading these. No, I don't think it actually does. I don't think it does. I think it does. Because it says key slide frames, slide TR, but is it actually a... Okay, it is that. Whoa! Uh, yeah, I think we need... Minus. Okay. Why is it minus then? Because I would expect that to go down. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think the, the other... Um, Hmm, interesting. I think because we're updating WebKit keyframes and not actual keyframes. <laughs> Houston, we've got a problem. It's not any. Whoa! We do have a scrolling issue now, which is a bit annoying. Why? Well, because it goes off the side of the page. Yeah, that's all right. It's fine. You can delete the whole app WebKit keyframes. Yeah. yeah. Let's do that then. I'll let you go right now on Safari, in which case don't. <laughs> hey, is that? Oh, yeah, it I is. think I think WebKit is like Safari specific. Okay. Oh, because it's uh, it's moving it by one hundred viewport height and width, not to a hundred viewport. Height, uh, so actually, it's not. No, hang on. I think it is. Anyway, let's <laughs> let's not dwell on it. The screen coordinates start from the top left. X. Okay. X equal. Yeah. Top left. So here. Top bottom left. Is zero. Oh, uh, actually, top left. Uh, top left makes sense because it's like well, CSS is uh, like mm. a type setting thing. So yeah. Top so left it is. Sense. Yeah. Um, for the scrolling, you can try overflow hidden. Indeed, I can. Let's do that. Um, so I guess here, overflow hidden. Thank you for the suggestions, Jolene yeah, and Evil Coda. Yeah. That time uh, during the stream where I pretend I understand what is being said in CSS. Yeah, oh, that actually didn't work. Uh, I wonder why. Maybe if we put the overflow hidden on the rocket, PID equals rocket. Oh, you just put it on all paragraphs. Let's see what that does. Yeah. Still no. Never mind. Um, HTML why? HTML why? Overflow hidden. Put on the body. Okay, that looks like that's done. It. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. It oh, works. Interesting. I'm not sure why it works, but it does. Oh, because it should be on the. Oh. Should oh, be the on the container, not on the element itself. Makes perfect sense. Thank you, Mother Clarification, White Jet. Yes. Good. Ah, uh, that's why they say HTML overflow hidden. So only HTML element. Right. Yeah. But we have right. the body element that yeah, we can yeah. use instead. Okay. Thank you for the clarification. So okay. now, um, the fire. The fire. I will do it with. Yeah, how would you do that? Launch. Exhaust. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you do it. I think that's what it's called. Hi. What's called exhaust? Uh, bloom. 
comes out of the engine. Well, it is the exhaust. What? Well, of the engine bell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait. No, not webcam animation. Wait. Not widows. It's never widows. <laughs> um, what did I do? 50 pixels. Yeah. Background color orange. Ooh. What does that do? I don't know yet. Let's find out. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Launch dock before CSS before element not showing. Pseudo elements not working. CSS. Oh, I don't have a content. You need a. Do you? Mm. You need display block for pseudo elements. You do. Pseudo. What else do you need? I feel like there's something else you need. Before. You can also do display inline block. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How you... Maybe we need a content. You can tell how often I use these. Let's change this to one. Whoa. Oh, that worked. Okay, I yeah, you do need content. Expecting that. Yeah. And also content, as Sarah says, and Wojciech, and Dave, and basically everyone <laughs> look, yeah. back on Earth is like, yeah. look at these two. Exactly. They call themselves astronauts. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> I think you need a fire flu. Mm. Oh, oh, can you actually rotate the fire emoji? This is the other way around. We can probably rotate. I mean, maybe I don't need any of that. No, I don't think you do. Yeah. Yeah. So can you rotate it? Transform, rotate. Well, uh, 180 degrees. Probably. Okay. Hi, uh, your laptop says run out of battery. Oh no, that's all right. <laughs> I mean, it's not. Uh, okay, so let me just. Is it to do you know if it's clockwise or anti-clockwise? Well, we'll find out. Okay, it's uh, clockwise. So I think it's like two hundred, maybe. 210? Sorry. Probably two, about 210. Yes! Look at that! 210. Now we just have to move it. Yeah. We just need to move it by a bit. Like 50 pixels. How do you do that? Margin? Top? No, margin hyphen top. Oh, right. And then, I don't know if this is going to work. <laughs> Uh, okay. Okay, but if you make it, it a bit, it might need top, just top. Yeah. Okay. Top hundred twenty pixels. Well, that will be too much. No. Oh, then I think we need the old. Display, oh man. Display. Uh, but I don't know, we already have display. 
Oh, oh, no, I don't mean I mean position. Oh, absolutely. absolute. All right, all right, all right. All right. And yes. then something didn't work. Position absolute. <laughs> so now I don't. Is it on the body or on the element itself? Then? Position relative. Yeah. Man, I haven't done this for ages. Um. Position relative and use top and right maybe. Oh, let's see what this does. Okay. Okay, that kind of does it. That kind of does it. So I think we need minus. Now the fire moves in the opposite direction. Now it's before the rocket. Oh, right, yeah. So we need. Okay, that didn't do anything. What Alexis set? Translate uh, X, maybe? Ooh. Since there is a transform already. JSing in the CSS. Right, 50 pixels. Why? <laughs> Good question. Um, what's happening? We're trying to move the fire emoji <laughs> to the back I don't of the know, but, um but we're not having that. Yeah, no, because we need to have it on the parent, but what is the parent? The body. Okay, yeah. hopefully this will work. Body. Um, position relative. Yeah, but I think you have commented at the top now. Yeah. Okay, that made no difference. <laughs> Maybe it is Transform X or something. Hmm? I agree. Remove the quotes. Remove the quotes! Oh, from Pixel, then. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why did it have quotes? I don't know. I'm too hot to see it anyway. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think that's going to do it. Hang on, what was it? Well, it wasn't there, so it's... Oh, the fire wasn't there. Yeah, so now we are at 15. Thank you for helping us out, wonderful people. Right, 15 pixels. Okay, yeah, we're good. That'll do. <laughs> because now it is time to reveal who has won. The latest challenge week. <laughs> a lot change of you of... are yelling at us. Dance <laughs> <laughs> uh, pop. Yeah. Woohoo. So, who is 250 bucks? Mm, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so, just. Pretty good. Um, we have been running all week at Scrimba. The latest challenge week, which was space themed. Yes. In total, there were over 1,000 entries. Amazing. Yes. And today, we downloaded a list of all the entries, selected one at random, checked it to make sure that it works and that the person hadn't been spamming. And we can now announce that the winner who will bag $250 and a free Scrimber Pro subscription and a job ready with you with Michael is dun 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 Peru Peru Saba oh okay with their day one messed around with CSS solution sure which looks like this cool this was the Ooh. day one challenge yeah oh nice they were given um, an array of planets and the task was to render them. So bad. And they also did the stretch dance so you can hover over the planets and um, see info about them. So, Ooh. amazing stuff. Well done to you. Puru, puru, Yeah, you got to let us know what that means. I hope it's something, you know, okay. Yeah. Something Japanese. I guess so. Yeah. Congratulations to you. Amazing. Oh, look at all these wonderful clapping in the chat. 
Brilliant. What about the daily prizes? The daily prizes are announced over on Twitter. And there will be probably one more announced on Monday for the entries today. I didn't have time to do no. it before the stream. Yes. Thank yes. you all for coming on our intergalactic space mission. It's yes. Oh, I can't wait to go back. Can't wait to go back to Earth. Yes. Can't wait. On Wednesday, I will be joined with Scrimba Tutor. Mm -hmm. Oh, bye. Uh, Scrimba Tutor, Gil Hernandez. Yes. He is going to be teaching us how to learn. It's going to be very good. Learn how to learn. Yeah, looking forward to that. Rotten kittens. <laughs> Gil Hernandez is an amazing instructor. Completely. Agree. There's a comment already. Wow. Where? Well, oh, on, here. on the street. Yes, indeed. If you liked this, please consider hitting subscribe. Yes. So that you don't miss future live streams. We have yes. yes, there will be on Friday another live coding event. So yes. watch out for that. And why not join us? Oh my. Very helpful indeed. And give us a thumbs up. Thank yes. you. Time to go back to the challenges. Thanks for the entertainment. Oh. Can you add a button? Yay, yay, yay. We could have done. Yeah, but we ran out of time. Brilliant. Yes. Happy landing. Oh, indeed. excellent. Well, thank you. Any closing thoughts for the mission? Uh, yes. I hope the helicopter is on the way to pick up the capsule when we land. <laughs> okay, I yes. hope so too. Yes. Have a out of this world weekend? Uh, yeah. Have a. Uh, I don't know. Not so roasting weekend. <laughs> I mean, it depends where you are, what you like, I suppose. Tim Long says, heart rocket. Beautiful. Yes. Yes, have a nice one, everyone. And most importantly of all, keep coding.